Hi Ruby! This video is about that um, the phrasing attack on John Thompson's first grade book, page 16. I've mentioned it, um, you know, kind of, I, I talked about, I, I mentioned, well, I wrote about it a little bit in your um, instruction sheet. And um, I know the page explains, it's, there's a lot of writing about it, there are photographs about it, but sometimes it's best to just see how it's done in a video form. So I will show you how, um, and I've changed the angle. I, I normally I take you with a camera from above the piano, but this is more from the side so that I think you can see the wrist movement down, up, down, up, this kind of thing. Um, and I, yeah, I did, I think I did mention about how you have a tendency to play like this. Everything is like up, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Kind of like when, if you're, you know, you know like dr using your hands more percussively. This one, um, is a completely different kind of an articulation. And you will prepare yourself to play things faster because after this section is over, after you've done this drop roll kind of a thing, you're going to go into um, the eighth note pieces. You're going to have a lot of eighth note um, eighth notes coming up, and it's um, it's well. Let me just say, you know show one example of how your hand just basically cannot go up and down. And this is one, you know, whenever you play very fast, you just cannot let your feet, you know, your wrist go up and down in the middle of it because you're going to move sideways. And here is the scale. And I guess you see that my wrist does not move up and down. It only moves sideways. And if you let your finger wrist move up and down, you basically just cannot play anything very fast. So um, this um, this phrasing attack also, um, you know, the, 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 like the uh, I think the the cuckoo, your um, set, the, you know, one of the two songs that has a phrasing attack in that that's in your homework this week. Um, it actually has a phrasing attack where you have to play multiple notes. So, the, the, um, but before you know we get into that part, um, let's first do the very basic. So we're doing the notes that are written on page 16, just below all the photographs. And I'm going to do the very first one at the very top next to the photograph, just below the photograph. It's a right hand treble C, thumb plays that, and then the D is with finger number two. So as in the picture, wrist starts up higher, and then when you play the C, the wrist comes down. Drop, and then roll, and up. I'll do that. Down, up, down, up. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. And um, I am being careful not to accent the second note, the D, because it's at the end of the slur. End of the slur, it's just in, 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 in music, you know, music articulation lingo or, you know, in, in um, tradition, you don't accent the second one. It's always loud to soft, loud to soft, sort of. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I have to be careful not to play the D too loud. Okay, and then you can do the same thing with the left hand, um, and I'll put the left hand thumb on the middle C, and then I'll put the finger number two on the B just next to it, and I'll be playing very similarly. So start high, and then drop to roll, and one, two, three, rest, one, two, three, rest, one, two, three, rest. Okay, so this motion, down and up, where you're basically kind of controlling the, you know, the your wrist motion, and it becomes, um, what would you say? Um, it, uh, you sort of, you know, this is a very slow motion, right? It goes down and up, down and up. So imagine more like classical ballet as opposed to tap dancing and hip hop. It's sort of that kind of a difference. Everything is more slowed down and up. Um, okay, so I will demonstrate the right hand exercise on that same page 16. Right hand has that, you know, a, a series of um, notes that you play using the drop roll technique. 
um, in full four times, starting with the um, thumb on the G. One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, rest. Rest. And the second half of that right hand exercise gets a little bit hard because you have to drop down and you have to grab the note with the finger five and then a four and then a three and then back to five. That makes it harder and you cannot play your thumb too loud. I'll play the second half, line two of that um, 60, page 16 exercise. One, two, three. Okay, and then, you know, um, when I'm playing this, I, I, I think I will try to breathe more slowly and take more deeper breaths when you play this. It's not so much ta, 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 ta. It's not like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's that kind of emotion. Okay, and I will now play the left hand. Left hand, um, you know, there's a bass clef left hand exercise in full four time in the left hand with the thumb on the G. You have a series of, um, you know, you have eight measures to play with that. Okay. One, two, ready, go. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Left hand um, is probably not, I think you're right-handed. So the non-dominant left hand might be easy, might be harder, but um, as long as you keep your hands nice and relaxed, it should come out fairly well. Now using that as technique on the right hand, right hand, I will play the Robin. Okay, the right hand, and now the time signature change is three, four time. And then the right hand goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, two. So it gives it a very graceful thing. You know, just imagine when you were. It's, that's more harsh. When you're able to do this drop roll successfully, you can also see uh, the time, to, uh, the, key, the dynamic level at the beginning of the song. It says mezzo piano. It, and this drop roll technique will help you make that um, the slurred kind of uh, articulation softly too. So I'll play both hands. One, two, three, one, two. So it's very light and um, I know that it's it's a little bit different um, the the count the accent on a three four time piece is that the accent is on beat one and that three is the weak beat in this case the right hand because of the articulation you know the G is a three three one two three one two three one two Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So when you do that, the the um the G is slightly louder than your E, so that G is beat three. What happened to the accent that should go on beat one? 
left hand in this case plays at two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the left hand does the accent for you. So right hand can, can do its own thing and left hand, you know, kind of provides the foundation, like a good base for like the three beat feel. So, you know, with, it's, it's a well-written piece. The left hand definitely provides a good beat. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Sort of, you know, has that, you know, good um, beat one, strong beat one. And then the right hand is making it sound like a, you know, bird I hop, I hop, I hop, upon a worm I plop. It's, it's really cute. Okay, now um, I will uh, make a quick, uh, you know, the cuckoo is going to be a lot harder to make that, you know, drop roll thing happen because you're doing right and left hand at the same time. So let me just show how I do it and I will play a little bit slower just so that you can really see the um, drop roll. One, two, three. last measure, uh, the last line um, is supposed to be fortissimo. I just did, decided not to play it loud. Um, actually, I didn't do any much of the dynamics at all. Um, but uh, you get... So both hands come up to the same. One, two, three. Right, left, together. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's the main thing. That's what you want to be able to do in this cuckoo. Um, okay, so yeah, try that. But first and foremost, that uh, the exercise on page 16, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that one, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And, you know, be able to lift your hand up from the wrist, like that, down and up down and up okay so um yeah learn um, practice that is it always start your practice at page 16 um um you know to to practice a phrasing attack this if you don't spend enough time it's just not going to come because it's very new it's a new technique it's a new wrist movement so you know do practice and it's all it's really kind of I guess it's a little bit like hula dance in a way. I wonder if you have, if you've seen hula dancers. It's a little bit similar to that. You have to keep your wrist nice and you know flexible. Okay, all right. So that's it for this video. So I will see you at the lesson. Bye.